Hi guys, I'm Nakata Chan and welcome to my reaction for Dororo episode 4. So, previously we've seen a little bit of Hyakimaru's childhood and we learned a little bit about a person who kind of took care of him and it was kind of like very sweet but very sad given some circumstances. Yeah, so starting it right now. Because I really want to see what is going to happen now when he can feel the pain. Okay, I need to put it a little bit louder. I feel like. Oh. What is this? Oh. Oh. Okay. Who are these people? Okay, sir, you are trembling. You can't do it? What am I seeing? What is going on? What is happening? What was the meaning of that? He was so much trembly. What was going on? I hope they explain it. And then someone like threw other sword at him. Interesting. I guess we will learn. I wonder who were those people lined up. I freaking love this opening. Oh wow, headless. Yeah, probably they were there. Headless horses. I just love that the Dororo is formed by the flames. That's cool. Oh, the story of the cursed sword. Okay, I guess that was the sword the person was given. I'm assuming. Okay. Hmm. He's just ending in the rain. I mean, he just gained feeling, so. True. Maybe he's just enjoying the rain. <laughs> True. Where are you, lady? Just a visitor? I can feel it. I mean, she has a very cute face. Very cute. Mm. Oh, for a brother or later. Yeah, about that. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that does not look good. At all. Oh, he sees something. 
Yeah, that definitely doesn't look good. Ouchie. You should hide. Well, try guessing. And they're gone. <laughs> okay, what he saw. Oh, that's not good. At all. Yeah, we probably should go somewhere else, maybe. Oh no. Okay. Okay, hello, sir. That looks like a very fancy sport. Uh, don't be going into the blood diseases. Okay. Cursed sword kit. Cursed. Have you ever heard about those? Okay, this man looks psychotic. Goddamn. Have you not seen the supernatural things in this world, kiddo? Have you not seen those? <laughs> because, oh wow, yeah, the sword is red. If there are weird demons, I would not be surprised if there would be a demon in a sword, possibly. That's a cursed sword, or something like that. Angry spirit, whatever. This dude looks kinda cool, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, white hair, me immediately like. I just like characters with white or gray hairs. Oh, oh, very skilled. Oh, 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 be careful! Be careful. Yeah, that's a very fancy sword. Okay, that was smart. Because he has artificial limbs, he can use them. Not all of his limbs are artificial. He gained a leg, right? Okay. Uh, he fall fell down. I mean, normally person would die, but I don't know. I don't know. There is a lot of weird supernatural things happening. Yeah, it's been scratched. You okay? Don't touch this work, please. Don't touch it. Kit. I guess he was not believing it. God dang it. That is, doesn't bound well. Is he dead? Is he not? Normally person would be. Oh! Her brother. Well, that's a weird coincidence. Or is it? God damn it. We need to do something about this. Is he okay? Was he possessed? Well, that dead doesn't sound good at all. Wow, <laughs> that's kind of creepy. Okay, so the sword belongs to him, I guess. Oh, damn it. I mean, very nice of them, that they care. Uh, guys, you should run. You should run. 
Oh my god. At least he's kid, so I guess he's not as strong. Normally, if that would be adult, the strike would probably kill the person. Can we do something about this? That's so creepy. That's so creepy. Very creepy. Can you do something about it? I mean, the dude said the sword would, would will come to him, so maybe he is not a normal human. And he is something supernatural, yeah. It looks pretty cool though. Okay, she is very cute looking. So, uh, how are you sure about that? He seems like a nice person. But I guess, yeah, the duty. So, I guess they are family of samurai, but kinda not doing very well, given how kinda they look. <laughs> Not very, you know, very scrawny. They were families like that. So crabby. Mm. That's so cute that she still has those. Because she cared about him. I mean, I guess only person she had left, huh? Yeah, that's a scene. That's definitely a scene. Yeah, he doesn't look good. I mean, it makes sense. She, I guess, has kind of... She thinks he, there is some connection, but probably she doesn't want to think about that because it's her brother and she's really happy he's back and she doesn't want to think about those kind of things. How can we make him throw the sword away? <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm. He did not want it to. Yeah. Oh. But I guess he didn't do that. Obviously. But yeah, he was like, I guess I cannot die because of my sister or something. Ouch. 
Yeah, I mean, he didn't kill him right away. That's very painful. That's very cruel, like trying to kill a person with a rusty sword, <laughs> which like can't even cut. Ouch. Or is it? God damn. Yeah, that's going to be long and painful. Indeed. So I guess at first, like, he didn't want to do that, but Lord was like, nope. <laughs> and the sword was like, give me more blood, please. I have a feeling there are some other people, yeah, which are going to be next. I mean, if there is a one person which deserves that, it's definitely that person. Just because. <laughs> Stuff. Yeah, though, he's definitely getting possessed. Okay, just killed everyone. That's kind of sad. Yeah. Okay, so he killed the people because of his sister, but then got possessed by the sword. <laughs> I think if he really would want to kill you, he would do that already. Maybe. Okay. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. She waited for him for such a long time. Oh, her hair is so cute. Yeah. Okay, so everything is gone. She just wants to be with him. Makes sense because there's like nobody else she has. Now when he came back after such a long time, when she probably thought he might be dead but she wished for him to come back. She's very cute. I love her design. Even her hair. That goddamn sword. We need to destroy that. He got freaking possessed. I love her hairstyle. She got him cute. Okay. Okay, finally. The sword is off. Creepy fella. Oh my god, are you okay? You seem so tired. I mean, the creepy sword. Damn. I love this visual. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if you can go back to your normal life you had. I mean, because the sword is so goddamn cursed and evil. Maybe if we destroy the sword, the dude will be normal. Maybe. I don't know how it works. Girl, don't you dare... Don't you dare to go there! 
Come on, this could be so dangerous. Okay, nice, ni nice fight. Nicely done. I understand she cares. And she's scared, especially after he came back after such a long time. But girl, I don't really know this is dangerous. And little stupid. Yowch. Oh, okay. So it's gone? Okay. No. Oh. Okay. Oh, will he hear now, finally? Oh, yeah, that that's going to be probably maybe a little too much for you. I can't imagine. We can finally hear. A little noisy here. A little. So he died, but he seems happy. I guess he was possessed by the sword. So I guess there was nothing else to do. Just kill him and destroy the sword. Okay. Okay, so he is searching, I guess because like those demons are getting destroyed, so he realized something is happening and he's searching. That woman though, she got killed, so we are not going to learn anything. And Yakimaru is just, mm, he's going to go up. He's going to go after him that bad. <laughs> okay. I love this song. Oh, okay. There's some post-credit scenes. Okay, okay. One time when I'm skipping this and there is freaking post-credit scene. Okay, will will we like learn more? Okay, still this little applies. Oh. You hit it. That was kind of creepy sword, not gonna lie. So, possessed sword, cursed sword story. And it was in the. Well, not possession. He said like they found it somewhere. It was like all the rusty sword. And the Lord said like the more blood it kinda is soaked in and the more kinda stronger it is, like sharper or something like that. And originally the sword like threw it at him to kill himself, but I guess he was kinda thinking of his sister, so he was like, I cannot die here because of my sister. So he killed the person. Well, it took him a little while because the sword was freaking rusty. That was so cruel. <laughs> no. <laughs> because the Lord originally threw it at him to kill himself and... Yeah. God dang. I, uh, you, you know about the tr traditional ways how samurai were doing that stuff. So with all the rusty sword, oh my god. <laughs> God dang it! 
Yeah, that, that lord was pretty fucked up. So instead of killing himself, he killed the dude. And it was taking him a long time. Oh my, he like swinged at him and he was still alive. It was horrible. Because usually it's pretty fast that. When you like cut the head off, it's like fast, right? So yeah, you were like hella scared before that happened, but at least it's fast. But like with such sword, it wasn't like how many cuts it took him? It was few. Oh my, that was pretty brutal. Like imagine. I actually don't really want to. <laughs> so then he was supposed to kill all like the people they kinda um had there. Damn. And I guess the sword's curse got activated and he started killing everyone, even the lord. I mean, the lord deserved it. He was kinda douche, not gonna lie. So, yeah. At that point, it kinda did not matter because the... What was his name? The brother of the sister got possessed by it. And was just going around killing and slicing everything and everyone. Yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. And I guess because I don't know like how long he was with the sword. But probably long enough. So like there was some kind of... How should I say it? Like very strong bond. So he could not be without the sword anymore. It was like, it's mine, sword. Yeah, the sword kind of influenced him. So he was like bound to it. Yeah, so I guess he needed to be killed. Maybe there was no way like how to revert him back because he was possessed by the cursed sword. I guess. Yeah, maybe the sword was like feeding on him. Because of like what he was going through when he started killing people. So yeah, maybe there that, that like wasn't possible anymore. Well, at least the sword is broken. That's a good thing. And now Hyakimaru can hear, so that's also a very good thing. Finally he can hear. That's very important. But like, it, damn, the, the, that sword was hella freaking creepy. And at the end, we saw that uh, Hekimaru's father is probably trying to look for him, which is not good. Not good at all. Absolutely not freaking good. Yeah, because it's like that tiny little shrine with like demons right inside like the statues. And I, I think they are getting like destroyed, right? So if he like visits the place, he can tell something is going on. And he probably does not like it. Well, I'm going to give this episode 7.5 out of 10. And I guess that's all. Yeah, goodbye and see you next time.